Welcome to Physic, the free energy special interest group where science meets spirituality in the quest for truth and knowledge to free humanity and transform this planet into a paradise. Hi everyone. Hi, this is Crystal. I welcome everyone to Physic's 119th meeting. Today is the 6th of December. We have amazing speakers lined up for you as always. So without much ado, I want to share screen so you can see what we have afoot for you. Right, there you go. Oops. There you go. Right, so Physic is a platform where science meets spirituality. And this is our 119th meeting. We have um, myself chairing the meeting, Crystal Gore, who's the founder of Physic. And we have uh, co-chairs here, Dr. Fress Frazzle, Pontus Hefger, uh, and James Rink, if he's present. Sometimes he just pops in. <laughs> okay, let me introduce. Pontus is the head of uh, R&D at Physic, and Fress is the chief teacher and innovator. He teaches all the R&D team members, uh, and James is with us at the helm of Physic. So... We offer a platform where everyone are welcome. It's a public, uh, well, I mean, uh, our meetings are public anyway. So all are welcome to join our meetings so they can benefit from learning from the awesome, brilliant speakers that we've got. We've got, ooh, I think by now we have hundreds uh, almost 200 or 200 over speakers who are some of the most brilliant in the world for what they have brought to our platform. So everyone gets to learn to improve and to develop what they have come here to develop. So our objective is to build skills, nurture a career, um, or whatever. Um, our primary objective is to build our own free energy devices anyway for our own needs, which uh, we will uh, open source at the right time. Uh, here we have our agenda. The first session speaker is Tom Sidney Bushnell, aka Tom Numbers, who decodes numbers, making connections, using words and converting them to numbers and the kind of... Uh, looking into what is hidden behind the corner, consciously and spiritually on a wide variety of subjects. So he does that. And this the second session, we have uh, our second speaker, Kevin Orlowski, who's a magnetic energy researcher and a development consultant, whose journey with magnetic energy technology started in the 70s with magnetic energy engines running in vehicles. He shares his over 40 years of unconventional experimentation and mind-blowing experiences. So, folks, hang on there. Don't go away. When the first speaker finishes, the second speaker will pick up the microphone. And so we, we go on like this once a month. So do pen down in your diary. The next time we meet will be on December the 6th for our... Oh, sorry, our... <laughs> 200th meeting, not 119. This is the 119 meeting. Okay, so if you want to write to me, it's crystal at truevisionofpeace.com. Our website is truevisionofpeace.com forward slash physic.html. And we've got all these various channels, Odyssey, Beach Shoot, and uh, YouTube, our video channels. And do join us in our Telegram group so you can interact with us. Okay. And it is just physic underscore group. Join us, right? Thank you. So I'm going to stop sharing now so I can introduce the speakers. I want to introduce Tom Sidney Bushnell right now. He is Tom Numbers. He's known as Tom Numbers as well. The reason for his name is because he does a lot of decodes, making connections using words and converting them to numbers, a kind of looking into what is hidden behind the corner, consciously and spiritually on a wide variety of subjects, making connections to all things, especially with the events that happened from 2020 onwards. 
He does many content collaborations with a variety of much loved and well-respected truth tellers and helps to expose the tyrannical global situation. Using the words of things, people, places, current events, historical events, and any object or word connected to the particular subject in any way, shape, or form. The method he uses is the alphabet and the numerical sequence side by side, where A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, etc., consecutively counting up all the way through the alphabet to Z or the letter Z that equals 26. And so you will see as he goes along, he will refer to quote the numbers of a specific word or other words with the same number. And he will connect the dots and highlight similarities with what some would say coincidences in the range of topics and make interesting links to uncover the hidden meaning and opening the door to truth and insight to the particular subject in question. Kind of like, you know, Janine with the tarot cards. Janine is very famous and every, everybody wants to know what's going on, what's a food, so Tom does something like that. So he has a vast amount of appearances on not only his own YouTube channel, Psych Club at Tom Numbers, Psych Club, where the content is released almost every day. He appears on a full spectrum of platforms, nearly all of them, including Rumble, where the most censored topics are discussed on a regular basis. He has a book out called Trumpology about numerology and the Great Awakening available online in PDF format and as an audiobook. And folks, if you want to see his website and all that, you know, as always, I always put a link of speaker's website when their names are there, um, when uh, I announce them speaking and the reports as well. So, folks, oh, now let's uh, pass the microphone over to Tom. Go on then, Tom. You may start your Thank presentation. Thank you, Crystal. Did you write that introduction? Uh, uh, I did some editing and splicing in there, yes. I wrote it. Oh, that was very, that was <laughs> very good, Matt. Yeah, sorry. Between the well two of you and the team, that was um, amazing. I'd love to, if you would email me that, but that you put that better than I could actually. That was really I, very, very I think good. I, I think I did email it to you. Yeah, so you'll have to check through your emails. Did you? Okay. Maybe if you, to... could re, if you resend it again to me, I'll, because I get I so, I'll be like, oh, yeah. there's Matt. And I, now it will connect the dots. Because that, thank you very much. That was a brilliant and well-researched and accurate introduction. So thank you, Matt, and thank you, Crystal. Thank it you. Is very well written. Thank you, Matt. Right, so go on, go on then, pick up the microphone and start your presentation. Go on then, go on then, off you go, off you go. Well, um, first off the bat, I've noticed you said that you pulled up the bit about free energy and um, healthy energy is James in the is James in the show? Is James Rinkin? I just if he is, I'll say hello to him. Is he here? Uh, he's not here. Okay, no. all right. Well, if he's around later, say hello to him. But um, so one thing I've noticed immediately when you introduced the number of the podcast today, you said it's the hundred and nineteenth show. Yes. Now the important and interesting thing and relevant and synchronicity driven divine number to that today is 119 is redemption but it's also nikola tesla so i think it's appropriate because you started with the whole free energy thing at the beginning and you'll you've got me on the show and it's 119 and 119 in numbers is exactly nikola tesla so nikola is 62 and tesla is 57 and uh, which is England, which is where me and Matt and others are from. You're you're in England as well, Crystal. But uh, yeah, so straight off the bat, Nikola Tesla, 119. And today's show is 119. And I like your cue of the uh, Millennium Wheel. I like that behind you. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I, I, I can't say that I like the Darth Vader costume you have behind you. You can't be Darth Vader. Well, but people say that, but you need to think deeper. Why have I got that there? So let's have a look at it. So Darth Vader, 
he started off as Anakin Skywalker. Oh. Anakin Skywalker is 175 in the numbers, which is consciousness, which is Diana Francis Spencer, but it's also the Millennium Wheel. And I just mentioned it before you brought up Darth Vader. So Millennium Wheel is 175, okay? So Darth Vader started off as a good person, as a good being, a powerful being. And if you look at my logo, there's a black and white picture of me and there's a color picture of me. And it's supposed to represent dark to light. So I've always been a good person and I've always been awake to things. But when we hit 2020, my understanding and comprehension took on a quantum leap and it jumped even further as of many other people's did. And so it's dark to light. Dark to light is 125, which is John Kennedy, which is time travel, which is eighth Avenue where the Tesla building is, which is the New Yorker hotel, Tesla 57, 119 Nikola Tesla, which is today's show. And so if you know the end of the story of star Wars, Darth Vader actually completes his character arc. So he starts off as a good person, gets corrupted, goes through this period of darkness. But at the end, his his uh, son, Luke Skywalker 174, real Donald Trump 174, currency exchange 174, the first numerical piece of gematria that him and Melania gave us when they came down the escalators on June 16th, 2015, Darth Vader went from dark to light. And so Anakin Skywalker became Anakin Skywalker again. He went from Anakin Skywalker to Darth Vader to Anakin Skywalker. And the interesting thing about it, as we're on the topic, 119 in numbers is also Star Wars. And today's show is the 119th show, and you've brought up Darth Vader because he's the character in Star Wars. And 119 Star Wars is also Nikola Tesla, as I've said. So everything goes around. It's a full circle. Wow. So that's why... I sit there and the newspapers have confirmed it. So about four or five months ago, the news, so I quite often will hold up a mobile phone and I will, here we go. And I'll show the audience what I am doing. And I'll hold up a picture of the newspaper and I'll decode the front of a newspaper, usually the Daily Star. Because Daily Star in numbers is 109, which is Site Club, my channel, which is also the word 17. Diana Spencer, which is also the word witness, 109. Diana Spencer, who was she a witness against? Everyone's going to find out. I was holding up my mobile phone doing a code, and you can see Darth Vader over my shoulder, as you can clearly see right now. A few days later, the newspaper, Daily Star, had a picture of Darth Vader holding up a mobile phone. Now, the last time I checked, I don't remember Darth Vader ever having a mobile phone in the film Star Wars. But Tom Numbers, who has Darth Vader sitting over there on the shoulder, often shows a mobile phone with a newspaper. And there it was. And so what I'm saying is the newspaper confirms, because I've got that there as well. So that's why it's, it's to represent dark to light. And Darth Vader is 101, which is also immortal. So it's an immortal journey. Cool. Carry on, Tom. You want to tell us how you got started and how you connect the dots like that? Yes. So how it got started was in 2020. The world changed. and Everybody knows what that was. And then something told me to start researching. Well, my just my natural disposition was to research. And Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister, even though he's been a trickster in a lot of this stuff, he said something important. He said that the key to the coronavirus puzzle is to stay indoors. Now, a lot of people went, oh, you just stay indoors and you twiddle your thumbs and you watch TV. The other thing you could do if you're indoors is you could research. And so I was just trying to figure out the answers. I knew what they were telling us wasn't correct. I knew it was all a big scam, but I was like, I want this is the massive one. This is the big, big, big one. And it feels like a dream, doesn't it? it? It's almost like it didn't happen, but it did happen. And so I'm just studying away, trying to figure out what's happening. And I'm following my intuition. And something told me to look up Diana Spencer's funeral service. And so I looked that up and anyone can see it still. If you look it up online, 
look it up on Wikipedia or other places, it's still there. And they make a deliberate and distinct point of pointing out when her funeral service started. Do you have any suggestions or guess when she's when her funeral service is officially recorded as starting? Remember. Well, remember, remember is close to it, but it comes to it started at nine oh eight a.m. So nine oh eight in the morning, which is a weird time to start official things. You should usually start nine o'clock, nine thirty, maybe nine fifteen, maybe nine twenty or nine twenty five at a push. But those would still be a bit wonky. But nine oh eight is off. That's that's a deliberate marker. And so I realized, hang on, that stands out like a sore thumb. They're telling us something here. And I didn't know about numbers back then. I didn't, no one told me what they were. But that was the beginning of my discovery. And I looked at it, I was like, 908, 908. And then either that evening or the next day, I was like, okay, 98, what's nine plus eight? That's 17. Okay. And then either that same night or the day after I I, start, I worked out, I was like, well, what's the 17th letter? And I had to count it out on my fingers back then. I taught myself to be quick with it, but the, nevertheless, the messages were coming. I was like, what is it? And I counted out on my fingers and double checked it. And I was like, okay, the, the 17th letter of the alphabet is Q, which is the millennium wheel, a nice Q right above your head there. Which comes to Diana, uh, which comes to Lady, well, it comes to Diana Francis Spencer 175 Millennium Wheel, okay, consciousness, Anakin Skywalker. Anyway, next step, something tells me to go and look up JFK Jr.'s funeral stuff. And I found Arlington Cemetery with a big Q. At that time, I thought it was JFK Jr.'s, that's how much I knew. I thought it was his funeral plot burial plot i later realized it was his dad it was jfk i didn't even realize that junior was supposedly buried at sea and i say supposedly with big inverted commas and then i was like there's two cues we're in the biggest event of our lives in the events of 2020 i'm listening to president trump i'd given up listening on boris for you know pretty quickly after he said about the coronavirus puzzle um, well, actually, he wasn't on the front. So I, when they were standing, you know, as a government telling everyone what to do, I'd always tune into President Trump on YouTube later. And YouTube is 109, which is site club, which is 17. So I was listening to President Trump and then I stopped listening to Boris. But I did hear what he said when he was it went up into the naughty, you know, he was put on the naughty step and up into quarantine in number 11, supposedly. And he said about the key to the coronavirus puzzle is to stay indoors. So I was like, okay, he's told us, he's told everybody that wants to listen, it's a puzzle and you can figure it out. So it's not what they told us. Um, and then I find out about Diana, nine plus eight, 17 Q. And then I see the Q with JFK's burial plot. And then I get sent a video on the algorithm of YouTube. I'm doing my research, but it pops up and it's a little two minute clip of uh, a clip from maybe 25 years ago, maybe more, when Diana is going over to New York to go and meet JFK Jr. And they're trying, the press are framing it as, oh, this is the new super couple. So it's the Princess of England, the Princess of Wales, but the Prince, you know, and it's the Prince of America, JFK Jr. And they're going to make them this super couple. And so all the press are excited by it. So you've got Diana there in Manhattan. And then they mention a few places that they may or may not meet. And one of them, they say, is Trump Tower. And I was like, oh, wow. We're in the biggest thing of our lives. We're all in lockdown. I've discovered that there's a 17, a Q on Diana. And there's also one on JFK. And I still think at this time, the Arlington Cemetery is JFK Jr. Because the picture I found actually said JFK Jr., but it wasn't. It was JFK. But nevertheless, all three of those people went in mysterious circumstances. Diana, JFK Jr., and of course, JFK won. And I was like, that's true. And now Trump is the one that I could, he's the only one I was listening to and believing during the height of the of the uh, pandemic. And I was like, okay. So it just went from there. And I, I listened to President Trump every night and he would deliberately misspeak numerous times when he talked to the press for, you know, two or three hours every night. He was deliberately misspeaking and coding all, all the way through. Then he would be tweeting and people saying, oh, he's so thick. He's making spelling mistakes. He can't spell. 
the guy's a genius. He's a divine being. He's a superhero. It's like, you know, he's a God incarnate as many of us are right now. And it's like, so I knew he was, I knew he was coding and I was working out and I was working out the numbers. A is one, B is two, C is three. And I was still counting out on my hands or writing them down, but I would code what Trump was saying. And I just, my level of understanding in numbers, it was like a PhD. It's like, you know, maybe three PhDs in the space of two or three weeks. That's what happened. So no one sat me down and told me this is this, but someone did from higher dimensionally told me what was going on through the numbers. And that's how I got it. And then I had to still count them out on my hands, but I learned to do that very quickly within maybe 10 days to three weeks. Just, it was like, that was the missing link. That was the, that was the block in the, in the pipe. I had to get quick with that and then I could do it very fluently, but nevertheless, the, the message, the inspiration, the divine codes were still coming at a rapid pace, but I had to just do a little bit of work at my end to get up to speed. And so if anyone's got an inclination to do it, I would say if you can do A is one, B is two, C is three, and you can do it as quick as speaking, then you'll be able to do numbers super quick. Yeah. So all we are living in a matrix code, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone yes. has got codes. <laughs> yes, we are. The matrix is is uh, 118, which is actually the very first set of numbers I got. So I say it all happened in 2020, which it did, but I actually got a, a preview, a small trailer, a bite-sized chunk of numbers in 2015, five days before President Trump came down the escalators with Melania, because I was in Manhattan at that time. And uh, I met Ivanka, I met President Trump's daughter, Ivanka, and I serendipitously bumped into her or she bumped into me and we met and I got a photograph with her. And from that point on, I was activated with the numbers. So she's a divine being as well. And we were supposed to meet. Of all the people in all the gin joints in all the world, I walk into a bunkers and we meet, you know. Um, I've had those sorts of things before, but the one with, with the bunker was the most special. And the reason for that is because I got a number code immediately after meeting her. Well, from that point on. So what happened just prior to me being in New York is my cousin, Paul, who I mentioned in my videos, had died. He passed away. And his date of birth was 118. It was January 18th. And what happened? And I was in America. They were still doing all the stuff with the autopsy. The funeral wasn't known when it would be. So I'm in America still getting news from back home about Paul. Um, it's interesting. There's a nursery rhyme: "Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul." Because the resurrection's coming, you know. Anyway, that's that's another time. But I meet Ivanka, and then a day or two after that, I go to the Statue of Liberty, and I meet a girl from Colombia with her family, and we're out on the island, and we're just kind of hanging out for a couple of hours on the boat and on the island. And her birthday was one one eight, same as my cousin Paul. Next night. I'm going to Staten Island on a ferry and I meet another girl with her friend and we're hanging out and her date of birth is the same. And then when I come back to England three weeks later, I go actually on a technically on a date with a girl and she's got the same date of birth as well as, as my cousin Paul. And I was like, hang on, this is really weird. I've only maybe bumped into a few girls over the last month. The ones I spent any time with, like on the boat and on the island, the two ferry trips, and then actually a proper date in England. They all had the same date of birth as my cousin Paul. And I was like, what's the odds of that? And I looked at it and felt that he was talking to me through the spirit world, from beyond the spirit world. Um, and the interesting thing about that is uh, it was, he just died. It was his date of birth. And so I felt that he was talking to me. And then I kind of parked that. I mean, I always remembered it. I spoke to some family members about it and they kind of understood it, but not completely. My brother did, but others didn't. Even my own, the own brother of, of, of Paul that had passed, he didn't really kind of really take it to heart. But it, Paul was talking to me through those numbers. And then five years later, we come to 2020, and then the numbers get connected to the letters, and then that was it. That's how it happened. So it was all meant to be, um, and I'm very grateful for it and very blessed. And... I guess part of my call, part of my mission, 98 mission, Crystal 98 is all part of doing the numbers 
and other things, other things are coming with it, but it's definitely a foundation for breaking the matrix and decoding what the reality of life is. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Um, I guess you want us to prompt you along. <laughs> well, Matt, would you do the prompting? Because you've been doing a lot of research on Tom and you were the one uh, who invited him. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's like an more of an interactive um discussion. Um so if anyone's got any questions, uh it'd be good it'd be great. Yeah. I, I did send I'd sent um Are you from Manchester, Paul? Matthew. Sorry, Matt. I called you Paul because yeah. you remind me of my cousin. Yeah. Are you from Manchester? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where what town? Yeah. What part of Manchester? Well, I was born in Salford. How far is that from it's Middleton? Middleton, fairly. It's it's um it's what well, Salford is sort of uh, the east side of Manchester. Middleton is it's the other side actually. <laughs> it's the okay. other side of Manchester. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you can got see a all. Accent. I I was like, yeah, you, you remind me kind of a bit like a blend of Paul who passed and my other cousin, his brother. You, yeah, just the. Just kind of, you know, Manchester's Manchester. Yeah. So yeah. 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 I've actually uh brought up near Burnley. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah, I I I sent you some um pictures on Vortex stuff, um Tom. Um is on there Vortex, any... is that is that a yeah. platform wide? Where... Vortex. No, right. no, it's on, on Vortex Mathematics. I think you oh. could share screen on okay. that one. I just okay. wondered if there's, yeah. what, if there's Sorry, any you, correlations. I, just get, with... I get so many emails, I don't get a chance to go through everything, so you'll just have to yeah. kind of just keep me, just tell me in live time and what I'm sure we'll get there, so yeah. yeah. Well, I can share screen and maybe you can uh, comment on the Vortex Mathematics. Uh, Vortex mathematics. Let's have a look. Okay. Um, well, because the work that we do, you know, we really love to explore possibilities here on vortex mathematics, for instance. So, could you tell us something about this? Or oh, have you? Is this the first time that you heard of uh, vortex maths? Uh, I. I don't know. Maybe I'm sure I've probably heard. I mean, I I say I've probably heard, and you might say, "Well, actually, we've just created this out of thin air now." I think so. It sounds familiar, but I haven't really looked into it. Um, it, I've I've done the numbers on vortex before. Yeah, but, uh, it explains free energy, before. life, consciousness, time and space, knowledge for a better world. So everybody here at uh, Physics interested in, and anybody who's interested in free energy would be very familiar with this. Let's have a look. Oh, Tom, it's uh, based on nine. It's not Is it? Okay. Everything Three, adds six, up to nine. nine. Yeah, vortex mathematics. So vortex is 104 which is 14, Jerusalem, Starlink, Hillingdon, where I was born, Snowden Avenue, I was born on Snowden, well, I lived on Snowden, you had them together, two 14s, 104 plus 104 is 208, which is quantum system, which is my cousin, Paul Dennis Bushnell. So that's interesting. That's a, so, okay, let's have a look at this. A vortex, um, yeah, vortex is, is uh, 14, well, 104, but when you do it, and then mathematics. So M A T H. I'm going to recheck this. Math E M A T I C. Ah, huh, that's interesting. So mathematic is 93, which is um, flotus. It's Bushnell as well, so my last name, but mathematics. So you add the S, it's 112, which is space, uh, which is Star Trek victory. Um, let's add the 10, the 104. Okay. Let's take away that. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so you get you get 
vortex mathematics 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 is 216 um which actually comes to beautiful nikola tesla or it comes to through nikola tesla so that's interesting um look at this consciousness king is 216 Consci alien consciousness is 216 tsb my initials consciousness is 216 um vortex mathematics yeah let's, look, let's have a look at it more so we'll look at it more frequency vibration Frequencies one one four, which is Trump card, which is JFK Jr. If you spell it out, history. So if you change your frequency, you can change your history. Um, uh, DNA. Yep, DNA is uh, is nineteen. Uh, right. Fresh, you might want to prompt Tom along as well. Vibration, with one ten, yeah. Vibration, frequency. Energy. I think that other picture was probably better. It's got words on it. We can, um, you mean the convert. first one? Yeah. The first one? Okay. Right. So are you, as a group, doing like practical things on this, or is this mainly theoretical for you at the moment, or are you actually doing... Um, we have actually you got, do have you got kit? Have you, got, have you got stuff that is actually doing stuff in the physical with yes, this? Rick, yes, we have. Okay. Uh, research and development. Okay. Vortex mathematics. What does Gene think about it? <laughs> we're we're going to sidestep right now onto this one because we've got the image up in front of you. Uh, this is Fraz here. The to the left, you see the uh, circle, and it's divided up, and you see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven going clockwise around it. But then, when you see the connections through the numbers, they go through at this <clears throat> inversion and what's interesting is the points of intersection on the left hand side shows up on the toroids on the right hand side and so when we we wrap the toroids we we basically look at anything that's divided by nine but it also sets up there's ratios from the inside to the uh diameter of the toroid itself to the overall size and this comes into when you go to wrap these the optimal length of wire then the size of the holes make it so that the wires and stuff will actually lay onto the toroid so everything that we do is related into the mathematical sequence in tesla in tesla's work he talked about 369 and it sets up a rotation very similar to the image on the left-hand side that's in the circle. And electricity in most people's minds is either one direction or bi-directional in a single line, not even spatial. But when we get into Tesla's work, we find that it's three-dimensional and it's a rotation. It begins at one place, goes around and comes back. So everything is a circle. Huh. That's interesting you're saying that. So free free energy, free is is leap, it's kick, it's uh, DJT, it's grace. Energy 74, which is Gematria, Jesus, Messiah, Muhammad, Tarot, English, London, DeLorean, however, yeah, there's many of them, but you add them together as 108. Mm -hmm. um, 108 is uh, Twilight, and there's a bit in the Tenet film I reference a lot and it says we live in a twilight world. So he's also saying we live in a free energy world, but if you do free energy, so you're saying you go in and then it comes back around again. So free energy, one way is, is 108. But then if you bring it back again, 108 
108 plus 108 or two sets of free energy one way in and one back out to complete the circle that's 216 which is vortex mathematics so that all seems to correlate yeah yeah mm -hmm. And well, one of the misnomers that we try to correct with our audience is that there's no such thing as free, free energy. There's conservation of energy. It can either be created or destroyed. It can only be transmuted. And so yeah. the wastage is what we know as humans or in the English speaking world as watts, which is waste. So what we're doing is not so much creating free energy is creating a energy source that is more efficient so it doesn't have wastage it doesn't have wattage doesn't have as though as much wastage in the generation or consumption the problem with the systems that we see in place around the world is that they'll use electricity and either throw it away or it'll get polluted with other frequencies we go into yeah. further work it's i say there's we're looking at frequencies we're looking at magnetics we're looking at uh vortexes we are looking at mathematics in the line of how does the numbers relate one to nine which is similar to your uh coding and i you can say gematria the coding of it it is there's no zeros and there's only nine one two three four five six seven eight nine to work with in the reductions uh in your in what you're doing with your numbers to the letters is then expanding it to the 26 numbers so i hope that helps fill in some of the blanks where we're at yeah Maybe and also, if well, I, like, also tom you were spewing out the numbers you were spewing out the numbers just now, and I was quickly adding them mentally, and they all added up to nine. That's pretty amazing. Before uh, the press go. was uh, commenting yeah. on the, uh, uh, I mean, well, you know, we we're talking about three, six, nine, and stuff like that. So yeah. you were talking about three numbers just now, added them up, like one, zero, eight, adds up to nine, and the other yeah. three numbers you're spewing up very quickly, and I was just adding them up. It's all equals nine. It's amazing. There you go. Maybe you should edit it and say it explains that free energy is not real. Because when you read the slide, it's like, oh, free energy, you know. So, yeah. So that's the point that you, one of the points you made, maybe edit that. Just change that. Say, well, it explains that free energy is not actually the case. Um, also, so you sidestepped it. I asked what Gene thinks of it, Fraz. I cannot speak for Gene. Uh, some of the other members have more contact. Okay. Gene Decode. Yeah. Gene yeah. Decode? Yeah. Is he decoding numbers as well? Well, he is, but I'm asking him what he thinks of the Vortex Mathematics as he commented on it with you guys. Well, he speaks at our platform a lot of times, and we had never, never asked him about that question. Uh, okay. That gives us an idea. We'll do so next time. Yeah. I'm sure he'd have a lot of, you know, I'm sure he'd have a real lot of stuff to add to it or to just, you know, because Jane's Jane, isn't he? So, yeah. So, Fres, um, maybe you want to flash out a diagram as to how all these numbers add up to nine to show Tom what you well, think. Well, basically, you have. That yeah. looks like a uh, sweet jar that my grandparents used to have, actually. <laughs> yeah. The <clears throat> interesting things is the outside, you, you pick a square, and no matter what the sequence of numbers are, you notice that each square has a little bit different pattern of numbers in it. The outside numbers all add up to the one in the center. So I'll just take your word for it, because it's too small for me to read, but I'll take your right. word for it. Shall so I just stop it's... sharing, and you want to pull sure. up? Whatever well, I'm not going to pull up anything. No, go ahead, Crystal. Yeah. My my machinery doesn't allow me to get that. It'll crash. Okay. So these are all numbers, right? And Fres was saying, just pick okay. a square like that, you mean? And the numbers just add up. Very each good. Di each diamond part. Mm-hmm. 
I'm still listening, guys and girls. Mm-hmm. I just need to call something out of the oven, but I can still hear you and I can still speak. Okay. You can hear me. I'll just be a moment. But carry on, please. Uh, basically, um, Crystal, why don't you ask the questions, please? Okay, right. I think I think this is uh, getting a little bit uh, off tangent where what Tom is focusing on. Right. Um, actually, because Tom's talking about Princess Diana, JFK Jr., uh, mm-hmm. Trump, and uh, perhaps Melania as well, um, we were listening to, I mean, the truthers, okay, people like Utsava uh, and even Janine, you know, like Utsava has been saying, uh, all these predictions all along for a couple of years now that Princess Diana didn't die, that she faked her death, uh, or rather they faked her death, <laughs> their lines, yeah. and she was rescued by Trump. So are you there, Tom? Did you hear what I'm, I'm here. saying? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So well, is Diana's she coming name up? comes to witness. She's a, yeah. She's she's the queen she's of coming back protection. To queen to be back. queen. Yeah. Yeah. She's the queen of England. Yeah. She's the queen of England. Yeah. And uh, and uh, Melania is just a uh, yeah she's just holding the ground. She's not really Trump's wife because Diana is, and that Baron Trump is Trump's and Diana's child, right? Yeah, I mean I'm open. I've heard what was, I'm I'm open to. I think I'm doing a show with this soon. Actually, we've been talking, but I, I'm open to both. I mean, it could be that there's really Melania. And Melania could be with Trump and also Diana could be with her. And sometimes it could be that Diana's in a mask with, you know, playing Melania. I'm open to all the options on it. I, I don't really kind of mind about it, but I do know for a fact that Diana is alive and that she faked her death as added JFK Jr. And also JFK, JFK one, he's coming back as well. Mm-hmm. And that might be another quantum leap for people to believe because they're like, well, we saw this. Well, it's like, you know what? They're showing you now that so many things are CGI. There's clones, there's dummies, there's all kind, there's wizardry, there's all kinds of stuff. So JFK one, not just only Diana or JFK Junior, but also JFK one is coming back. Right. So, is there anything startling from your findings and your discoveries within the codings and the numbers that you want to share with us here? Um. Well, I think those three things are pretty startling. I mean, it, well, it depends. The audience might already be aware of it, but if there's new people, that's probably pretty startling to them. But also resurrection is going to be coming, and that's part of it. I mean, if people have been in witness protection, then them coming out of the woodwork effectively, quote-unquote, quote, unquote, but to come out into the out of the shadows to into, you know, into the public arena again, that will be a form of resurrection, but also literal resurrection. So... A lot of us have had people die. A lot of us have had people die during this three and a half, four year period. So they're coming back. If they're a pure of heart, they're coming back as well. So all of that's coming. I mean, people, you get different fractions, different people, you know, you get people that are very Christian, different other religions, Jewish, you know, esoteric, some that don't really believe in anything. All these things are all all going to come into one pot and all threads of truth are going to be conjoined and people are going to see the truth of all things and part of that is resurrection so president trump a lot of people miss this but president trump during well during 2020 talked about i think it was 2020 or the beginning of 2021 it was in that it was in the hot period he talked about resurrection on television now a lot of people missed it but there was a woman that had her mother had died of of what had come around the world in 2020, and she died of that. And President Trump, in the present tense, described on a TV show with this woman, I think she was a Hispanic-American, and it, the woman's crying, saying, my mother died. He said, oh, your mother died of this. It's like, yeah, she died of this. And he said, okay, well, what we'll do is we'll do this, and we'll do this, and then she'll be well again. And the woman's mother's died. But he said it on, clearly on television and said, well, we'll do X, Y, Z, and then she'll be well again. So he was describing resurrection. And in numbers, 198 is the resurrection. And President Trump in numbers is 198. So President Trump 198 is the resurrection. So he's got the keys. He's got the power to do that. So that's what it is. So it is biblical. So people actually being raised from the dead coming back, whether that's 
done in a kind of biblical sense, whether it's done in a higher physics kind of sense, whether it's Nikola Tesla physics, whatever way it is, or whether it's come out which protect people are actually going to be coming back to life. That's what's going to happen. I, I knew this for a while. I did a show with Juan on it last year. And he said, there will be people that are listening to this. who will have to, you know, they'll have to command their loved ones to come back to life. That's coming. I'm sure I'll be the one that resurrects my cousin Paul. He'll come back. You know, the, there's all, so that's, you know, that's, for me, that's pretty mind blowing to understand that and to know that. And I've known that for a while, but that is coming. That's literally true. That's coming. Um, hey, Hello. John. Hi there. Yeah. Hi, Hello. Then, John. You want yeah, to prompt good, Tom? Um, yeah. Go ahead. Job. Anybody who wants to speak up or ask Tom any question, this is the time. Hello, John. Okay. Hi. Go yeah. ahead, John. Hi. Yeah. Good to meet you, Tom. I followed you. Uh, stuff from a long time ago actually uh, he, i'm from lancashire preston in, in northwest so uh, you yeah. look like you're are you in a church or in a house i'm in a i'm in a uh gymnasium actually I'm in ah there you go cool so yeah yeah i'm in david lloyd's in uh chorley um, oh nice one yeah you know, i've been playing tennis earlier but uh, i popped into david lloyd's a couple of days ago actually yeah not up there but down here I just went to check it out, but it's got electric pylons too close to it, so I could feel it. So I'm not. I don't think I'll go there, but yeah. I'm sure I'd love to because it's a great, it's a great, great no, company good, and, and good facilities. Area. Yeah, good yeah. area. They, they actually built the biggest Mormon church just like about half a mile away from here. What Preston? Well, surely, surely it is. It's not far. Yeah, from. the Preston, right. the temple. Hey John, yeah. Yeah, what's temple. your question to Tom? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the, the, the question is um, basically, uh, yeah, the, the the connection with what we were just looking at with the 369, just to, I did the gematria on my name, Tom, and mine 74, which is Jesus and, and the like, I know about that. But my yeah. message, part of my message and my work on geometry is linking the Christ consciousness, and it's the 13, the number 13, um, being like the outside of metatron's cube the 13th uh density consciousness that is interestingly on the numbers of the tridecagon shape which you've just looked at the nanagon the nine sided shape um tridecagon the internal angle of that is 27.69 Two seven zero nine recurring, which means it's nine point nine 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 recurring. Or it's actually twenty seven point six nine two three zero seven six nine two three zero seven. So it's like a, it's an infinite recurring uh, number of nine. Okay, so I'm just linking that. And again, this is new information I've not shared with Charles or anyone from my presentation I did a couple of years ago. Um, but it also links with uh, the the pentagon. So that is the in, internal angles of a pentagon as nine, or the external, which is 108. So 72 or 108 on a pentagon. Oh, 108, yeah. Yeah. Pretty energy, 108, yeah. That's, that's the one. But it's, it's the link between the five and the 13. And the eight okay. is in between on the Fabinanchi. But if you turn it side on, you've got the infinity. So yeah, it's just putting in the numbers of like the 5D consciousness in physicality is driven by the 13 tridecagon in Christ consciousness, if you will. That's like kind of my message in in, in the geometry terms. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to, to add that in. But it was when you going back to that nine nanogram when you look at that and you've got the three six nine triangle uh -huh. yeah, you, you, if you spin the other triangle you've got the eight five two um uh and then if you spin it again you've got the seven four one trine yeah yeah now i think that the three six nine in tesla's terms is zero point energy that's the impulse from outside of this reality i think that eight five two is the bridge between that and physical manifestation and the seven four one are physical physicality because that they're the only numbers that have straight lines. Yeah, every other number has curves and is more okay. uh, universal, natural. So I'm just trying to give yeah. a, 
a, an interpretation of the actual numbers and the actual way they can form. Interesting. In effect. Yeah. I send me all those. Would... Email all me those because uh, if you've got like it online or just private, send it. I'd be interested to have a look at that. So when yeah. you were talking about that, John, a few things. So, um, so thirteen. If you spell out the word thirteen, it comes to ninety nine. So there's two nines there. Nine nine. There you go. Yeah. It also comes to patriot and it comes to ascension. So thirteen. Mm -hmm. So thirteen is a great glorious number, but the bad ones knew that. That's why they hijacked it. But we're taking all the numbers back. Yeah. And um, you talked about the. Um, Pentagon. So the word Pentagon is also 92 in numbers, mm -hmm. but the word numbers itself equals 92. So you've got two nines there, you know, nine and a two again. But also Manhattan, where I met Ivanka Trump and got my first kind of energetic. I didn't know at the time, but from then on, I started noticing the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, was uh, is 92 in Manhattan, and it's reversed as well. So it has the power to reverse it both ways. And if you spell the word nine, N-I-N-E, N -I -N -E, it comes to 42. 42 comes to lady, so you've got the connection with, with Diana. You've also got, I guess, the connection there with with Ivanka, with Made of Manhattan. But you've got the word nine comes to 42, which is new, which is war, because there's a war, spiritual war going on. But 42, if you know Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, they say basically they kind of put the statement out they say is 42 the answer to the universe and, and for, i've been led to believe that the pyramid is at angle 42 and so there's something to do with the 42 but if you spell the word 40 if you spell the word nine it equals 42 the five as well and you mentioned the five but five is also 42 in numbers um and people do a nine to five so it's it, it's there um yeah it's everywhere and the other the thing here you've got the this is made of shungite and organite, um, but it's at the angle of the 42 for the pyramid. But shungite is 103, organite is 103. You add them together, it's 206, which comes to quantum physics. And so there's a whole bunch of, you know, it's like a fractal of, you know, eternal numbers that keep occurring, they all spin off each other and come back around again. Um, but that's really interesting what you what you shared, and it and it triggered some... Numbers and stuff that I've just hey, mentioned. Yeah. Hey, hey Tom, Thank you were you. doing you were doing the numbers on people's names, right? How about starting from Pontus? How do you decode that his name? So you would do P as the sixteenth letter. Why don't everyone do it? Have you got a calculator? Pardon? A calculator? Yeah. yeah. Do you have a calculator in front of you? Uh, yeah. Got to go okay, get, get it. Okay. Get your calculator out. Because this, mm -hmm. I can tell you what they are, but it's more, it's it might be a little, little, you know, little effort, but it's good when you know how to do it. Because I can give you a fish, but if I teach you how to fish, you can do it forever on your own, you know. <laughs> and, the, and the audience can as well. <laughs> so, so Pontus. So what? P O N T U S. Is that right? Yes. yes. Okay. Do you want his surname as well? Well, let's start with Pontus. Okay. Is that the same as Pontius Pilate, or is that different? Mm, it's different. No. Pontius Pilate is with an I. This okay. is no I. Yeah. Okay. It's so P. I thought it might be an I, but I don't know. I haven't really studied Pontius Pilate. So, other than I know he washed his hands, and they got everyone else washing their hands during the pandemic, didn't they? So, yeah. so Pontius. So P O. So P is sixteenth letter. What's what's letter fifth? Uh, I've given it away. O is fifteenth. What's uh, what's uh, N? What order of the alphabet is N? Fourteen. Who said that? Uh, Hendrick. Myself. Yeah. Uh, Hendrick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So fourteen. So what's T? Uh, T is twenty. Twenty. Mm. That's correct. And then what is you? Twenty-one. Mm. Yep. And then what is S? That's nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. And what do all of those things come up to? I got it right.
Who's got it? I don't know. Hundred and five, but I don't know if it's right. Did you say uh, Henry? Did you say that again? Hundred and five. That's correct. So that comes to hundred and five comes to uh, Savior, the English way of spelling it. It comes to uh, Arcturian as well. I don't know if if you've got any kind of connection with them, but uh, I think I've been told. I think I I feel it, and I've been told that I have an Arcturian connection. I think Pleiadian as well, maybe a, a mix. I think Trump has both of those in him as well. A lot of people say that Trump is a, a Pleiadian, but I would also say that he's Arcturian. I think he's probably a mix of many. But if because if you do the Arcturian, so 33 the plus 105, that comes to 138 Donald Trump. And it also comes to the word the saviour. And I was watching a clip from a few years ago, again today, that's come out. And it's when the press asked him and said about you and he said well i don't really know much about it but he nods his head he said i don't really know much about it he does a micro nod and then he starts a couple of eight seconds later he's like shakes his head so people see the shake of the head but they don't see the micro nod so he says of course he knows what it is he says well i don't know what it is but they seem to like me and then they say well you know you guys are saving the world so well if i you know yeah, what's so bad about saving the world? So he's, you know, he's declared it again. So one thirty eight is the savior. One thirty eight is the Arcturian. One thirty eight is revaluation. One thirty eight is Donald Trump. One thirty eight is River Thames. And you, you mark my words. Next November fifth, you're going to see something on the River Thames. And so, you know, that's. But anyway, that's what that's what Pontus is. So who's up next? I know what John is. Do you know what yours is, John? <laughs> John Kenny, yeah, seventy four. Oh, John, uh, forty seven. Yeah, 47, which is a mirror of 74. 74 is Gematria, Jesus, 121, add them together, which is second coming. Who's second coming? There's going to be quite a few second comings. And 121 <laughs> is Golden Jubilee as well. Um, Crystal, you're 98, your mission and your independence, Cornwall. Um, who else is Crystal, up? Crystal's not my real name. How about no, my surname, no. G-O-H? What's your real name? <laughs> sorry i can't okay. tell <laughs> well we'll just call you crystal so nine plus eight so 98 nine plus eight is romanoff nine okay. plus eight is uh is for diana um i think she's a romanoff i think probably melania is a romanoff the interesting thing about the word romanoff is 98 it's nine plus eight is 17 q that's the marker on diana's you know uh funeral service but if you if you spell it the other way you take off the V, you can do it with an F. Right. Uh, two Fs, I should say. Uh, that's 88, which is Trump. So there's a connection be There's a connection between the Romanovs. There's a connection between, obviously, Melania, between Diana and Trump. And the interesting thing about Russia, Russia's 87, which is Truth, which is Justice, which is Junior, which is Stella. But Moscow is 88, and quite a few important capital cities around the world are 88 and places. So one of them is Moscow, 88. Edinburgh is 88. Mm -hmm. uh, Budapest is 88 Copenhagen's 88 so you've got you know it's a Scandinavian show 88 is uh, is 88 Trump Copenhagen and also Edinburgh so Scotland Scotland's 88 Scotland uh, is 88 Edinburgh's 88 and you do 88 plus 88 that's 176 Back to the Future which is November the well mm -hmm. yeah November so, the 5th so you do have a link for people to go into uh, for how to do the numbers, right? Well, like you mentioned, I've got my uh, my online course, but I also have on my YouTube, so I'm on Sight Club. So if you type in Tom Numbers on YouTube, I have mm -hmm. I have about 85,000 on my main channel. Wow. Um, and I have uh, on there, there's perks, YouTube perks, so people can join if they want to do like what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. I have a private community where people can join that. And they can once once a month we do everyone gets a chance to do their numbers with me and I teach you how That's to do it. Interesting. And you yeah. have a book called Trumpology, and that book in itself you're showing people how to do the numbers. As That's well. it. Trumpology. If you get Trumpology, so I think that's the bottom link on the description or on the about page. You can get the workbook or the or the audio or both, and that so, guides so you that guides you through how to do your own numbers, how to work them out, and what to do. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I put your website linked up to your name in, in our website, Physique. So anybody who's interested could just go into your website and all the links are there in your website. Am I correct? When the you say website, numbers, so I've got I've got my YouTube Tom, and that has Tom all my numbers links. Show dot locals dot com. Oh yes, yeah. So I'm on locals as well. So I have my community there on locals. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. So right. your locals, YouTube, Twitter. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of that. That's good. Folks, all right. I think we need to wrap up because uh, well, Kevin thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A it was a lot yeah. of fun. Thank you. <laughs> a lot of fun. Thank Unless you. somebody <laughs> needs to ask you a very important question, and I well, the chance is here now, folks. Anybody who wants to ask Tom? A big shout out mm -hmm. and a goodbye to to Scandinavia. I loved Denmark and Sweden. Um, I've spent quite a lot of time there, not recently, but in the past. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's great here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fres, you want to have any last say? Um, thank you very much. And uh, it's been a thank lot you. of fun. And a lot of the stuff that you're bringing up for those of us that have been following the Q movement, uh, spot on. And uh, we're looking forward to interesting things coming up in the numbers in the next 10 days. Today is, uh, we're, we're rapidly coming up into, uh, let's see, this is the 7th of December, and 10 days is the 17th of December of the date. And if we put all the numbers together, it should come up to kind of an interesting collection altogether. And hey, that's the EBS that's happening. Quiet, <laughs> <laughs> <Quite a>, Crystal. <laughs> no, what? Well. Hey, okay. Tom, does the number 146 have any significance for you? 146? Yeah, yeah 146 is, is New Jerusalem, mm. the trumpet, the universe, true social, That's, Ivanka Trump. Because magnetic energy comes out to 146, and, and we are giving oh, that nice. information for the, basically for the future. <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah, mag okay, magnetic energy. So, so energy 74. Energy, yeah. So yeah. that would be, uh, so magnetic must be 72. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And, and 72 is first. So when Trump says America first, he's also saying America magnetic, I guess, which is MAGA. Um, I don't know what connection I have to it. Just it's like it's my I'm just an engineering consultant. It's just my day job. But my name comes out to 183. So okay. I don't know <laughs> if that has any significance or not. But Well, there's. Um, and what so what made you ask about 146? 146 magnetic energy because that's um basically my field of um research and technology and this is the that those are the words that we were given from higher beings um back in the 80s so who what beings were, were you talking to do you know um i really don't know um pleiadian and um but there were there were technical experts from various systems so Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, magnetic energy is a big one. I mean, maybe I'll say this in closing. So, um, people, um, what's your first name, buddy? Where did you go? One eight three. Where are you? What's your first name? Oh, Kevin Orlowski. So Kevin. I think Kevin is, is Miracle sixty one. I think sixty one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Orlowski one twenty two. Well, there you go. So I just said it. So I said America first. Um, or America magnetic, that's 122. So maybe that's what that is for you. That's and uh, America America first or America magnetic or Donald magnetic, um, 122. Millennium, miracle millennium, there you go, 183. Millennium miracle, 122 plus 61, 183. That's um, cool. Yeah. And if you awesome. do, so if you do the 183, that's the 146, what's that? Okay, or the one eight three. Take away the one forty six. Huh. Like like New Jerusalem one eight three. Yeah. So miracle millennium. Um, in closing, so if people are watching and they're not sure exactly what you know we're talking about, and they would like a nice simple proof that everybody can see. So if you tune in and you watch when President Trump speaks, so. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but he always has a rostrum. He always has a, a text donation number. Does anybody remember what that is? 
So you'll notice it now because I've pointed it out. But when he's talking, he always has he always has the same text donation campaign number. And I've been talking about this for a while, wow. but he actually made reference to it about three weeks ago. And it's 88022. And it's never any different. It's always 88022. I mean, it might say, oh, he's in Iowa, which is always there, 48 Iowa, Tom's 48. But wherever he is, it's always the same number. But this time, about two or three weeks ago, he actually said and made a point of it. I've never heard him do that before, but I've been talking about it for a few years. But he, so 88 in numbers is 88, which is Trump. So the first part of the number is Trump. 107 says you can drop the zero. You can drop it or keep it open. I don't mind. I never get hit up on, you know, I always play with it, but you can drop the zero. So in this instance, you drop the zero. It's left with 22, which comes to deal. So Trump wrote the art of the deal, which is this. But it also comes to the word MAGA, which is make America great again. But I think it's many other things as well. It's to do with the magnetics as, as uh, Kevin's brought up. But if you do Trump, 88, 22, MAGA, you add them together, it comes to 110, and that comes to the word president. And it also comes to the word the Christ or Christ magic, Don Christ. His family, whether it was his adoptive family or not, the family he brought up in, the middle name of his father and his grandmother and great-grandfather, they were all called Christ. So it'd be a bit on the nose to say Donald John Christ Trump. But his family, they all had that as a middle name or as a surname. Um, if you keep the zero, zero is 64, which is, which is uh, Jubilee, which is Tenet, um, it's Zion, it's Israel, it's a uh, movie. We're all watching a movie. You add them together, that comes to 174, which comes to real Donald Trump. So whichever way you, you slice it, he's telling everybody the code. And another proof on it is the word simple gematria, which is the A is one, B is two, C is three. That's the that's the type of gematria it is. Simple gematria comes to 148, which comes to Donald J. Trump. And so it's always there. It's always in your face. But if anybody isn't sure how to do it or what it is, or is Trump using it or not, he is. Because of all the numbers in the world, all the numbers from, from a 1 to 100 or 1 to 99, he chose 88 to be his first number. And there's a reason for that. And it's 88 and it's Trump. And then the next one is 22, which is MAGA. And you add them together and it comes to the word president. And it's him on the rostrum as President Trump. So, that, you know, that's what it is, you know. Right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, well, thank Tom. You all too. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And Lovely thanks to meet you all. for bringing Tom mm -hmm. to speak here, as well as Kevin. Okay, so there being no other business, this first session of our 119th meeting is now adjourned to the second session. Thank thanks, you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. God bless.